Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Apple Vibes back with another video and today we are going to talk about widgets. Okay, so widgets are a major upgrade in iOS 14 and there are a lot of videos available on the topic right now. And in this video, we are going to get started with widgets like the basics and I will be talking about five widgets that I use in my daily life, not just any widgets, the widgets that I use in my daily life and are really useful. Now you could either use widgets to customize the looks of your home screen or you could really save a ton of time with widgets. So both types of widgets will be covered in this video. So stay tuned till the very end and also I have given timestamps in the description. So feel free to jump on any widget you like. In my previous video, I have showed how to use stacks with widgets. But uh, did you know the same widgets could be stacked on each other? Didn't get it? Uh, here's an example on the screen. I have shortcuts app set as uh, widgets and on the first screen the widgets are set as a stack on each other. On the second screen as you can see uh, those shortcuts are set one after one which takes the whole screen. So let me show you how to stack the same widgets on each other. All you have to do is 3D touch the screen and hit the plus button on the top and add a shortcut of your preference. I will be taking shortcut as an example here and uh, I'll be choosing three shortcut widgets the same widgets again and again and I'll be stacking them on each other like you are seeing right now and uh, after it's done it will look something like this the same app but it has become a widget widgets look best when your apps page where app pages are hidden so in order to do that 3 touch the screen you see the dots at the bottom right press those dots and you'll get this page so just check or uncheck any page you want. Uh, I'll suggest that you keep minimum pages at your home screen so that it looks best and super organized. So here we go, unchecked and done. So that was the basic introduction guys. Now we are moving on to the top five free widget apps I have for you, which will make your life much easier. Starting with Google. This widget will be a life changer for many people, for every tech user out there may it be an Android user or an iOS user. Google search is a must and everybody on earth knows that. And a widget for Google could be pretty handy. All you need to do is choose, choose an option and you are good to go. And you have three options in the bigger Google search. You have a search option, then you have a Google lens option or either you can do a voice search and you also have a handy incognito mode on the home screen. Do you watch a lot of cricket? Well, if you do, and especially for those watching IPL right now, you are gonna love this widget. Crickbuzz allows you to be updated with the game at all times, at all times, and listen to this, this is the best part, at all times directly from your home screen. So to be updated and to check scores, you don't need to go to the app again and again. You have the scorecard. You have all the updates directly from the home screen. Or if you want a detailed update, you can just click on the widget and it diverts you to the app. Next up is color widgets. As I said, there are widgets which are just to make your home screen stand out. And there are many out there. But uh, this is one of my favorite and that is because uh, it has many free options. It has pro options as well, but the free options are frankly all you need to have a good aesthetic look looking home screen. So in order to do that, download the app and after downloading the app, you'll have to go to the app to set one of your favorite widgets that you want to be displayed on the home screen. So choose any one of them and these are the pro options, but we are good with the free ones. I'll be choosing this one and you have a ton of options to customize your widget. You have colors, you have font, you can even change the background image if you like. Uh, we'll leave the background image as it is because it's pretty good and we'll set the widget. So here are the widgets on the top. You can see these are the widgets we have already. So on the top it will show the widgets you have already customized and which you can now apply on your home screen. So after setting one more widget, 
will go to the home screen and will be setting up the widget for color widgets so after choosing a font a color you can have a light color you can have a dark color or even you can choose from many color options we have after setting one or two widgets go to the home screen 3d touch on the widget choose edit color widgets there you have options for widgets choose any one of them one two or three depends on how many you have and there you go you can change the widgets directly from the home screen next up is usage checking your storage space in ios is a long process with a lot of clicks actually and uh, but this widget changes that now you can have your storage be seen on the home screen and of course also choose from other options that usage is providing like uh, it has data period limits it has data intervals it has memory and uh, it has storage and also device uh, information so it's pretty useful device uh, pretty useful app and it can be useful if you are a guy who wants to see your storage or your memory percentage or your battery percentage on the home screen directly so this app may be really useful for you and this way you can choose from different widgets it's providing and you can set it accordingly on the home screen if you want a detailed analysis of all that memory and storage you need to click on the widget it will take you to the app and it will show you the detailed analysis but you need to be a pro member for seeing all that detailed detailed analysis but even the free one is good enough and i don't think we need more than that but the best is the specs it is showing you can see the specs uh, folder down there and it shows the perfect specs of your mobile of your iphone next up is item memo this is a very simple app but by far this app has been the most useful in organizing my life in a better way i do have other reminder apps like notion and to do list which i'll be talking about in another video but this one is a free and a very simple app to use so you don't have to miss anything in your daily list from now on all you have to do is set up the widget click on the app and there is an add button on the top press that button and type whatever you want to be reminded of after doing that you press the go button and then make sure you check mark you tick mark on that thing you want to be reminded of and voila it will be seen on your home screen now you won't be forgetting anything and that's all for today guys i hope you like this video please hit the like button if you learn something from this video and also subscribe to my channel for more content coming on your way Oh, 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 oh,